loves and welcome back to Love All Beauty. I thought for today's video I would put together a pretty easy makeup look that we can do that doesn't involve a lot of products and is able to last through the summer heat. So before we jump into that, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that. You can ring the notification bell and that way you are notified every time that I upload a video. You can follow me on social media, Instagram and Twitter. Let's jump right into it. Got my hair pinned back. I look like a Looney Tune, but that's all right. For the hotter months of the year, I think it's really important that we take into consideration that the more makeup that you're gonna put on your face, the easier it is to kind of become like cakey and kind of melt off and that kind of thing. But I think the biggest thing with putting on minimal makeup is to consider what is it about your skin that you're wanting to either cover up or enhance. Aside from using a moisturizer and an SPF, which you should be doing every day, I think a primer is a really good way to kind of help correct any of those things that you're wanting to fix with your skin. And a lot of times if you're using really good skincare and like really good primers and things like that, then you don't need to use as much of like a foundation or a, con a concealer. There's a primer that I've been using pretty much every day. It's the e.l.f. Mint Melt cooling face primer. It is a really good gripping primer and I find that it does really help with the longevity of my makeup and I think it really helps, I don't know how to quite say this, but I, I do have very dry skin and if you have some areas that you find are just kind of like flaky and, and dry and you know like putting moisturizer on it doesn't really like help get rid of the flakiness or anything, I find that this type of primer honestly kind of glues that down so that when you are applying like concealer or foundation, that kind of thing, you don't really get a, a lot of like flakiness or anything like that. So if you're like peeling from a sunburn or like peeling from too much retinol or acne medication or something like that. If you use something like a gripping primer, it can almost just kind of glue down any of that extra dry skin, which I think is really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my face. I use pretty much just about a pump or so, and I honestly just kind of pat it in all over, focusing it mainly on the center area because that's where I'm going to become the most oily throughout the day. And this one is important to kind of let sit for about 30 seconds or so once you apply it. That way it can kind of set in there and be a little bit sticky to grab onto either concealer or foundation. Another thing that I like to do during the summertime is not really apply a full face of foundation foundation, more or less just kind of color correct and, and um, you know, cover up blemishes using a concealer. This concealer I'm using today is by Believe Beauty. It's called Your Covered Liquid Concealer. I'm using the shade Ivory, which I believe is their lightest. I'm just going to apply this wherever I'm really wanting to color correct and then conceal also you know I always find that I get a lot of like blueness there I'm gonna go down the center of my nose because I always have quite a bit Ooh, that's a lot of product go around my nose and then also my chin area kind of apply it up like that. Then I'm gonna take my sponge here, which is wet, and just start stamping out all of that concealer. I'm gonna kind of go over my eyelid with what's on left on the sponge here. Some people like to let their concealer sit for a little bit because it kind of just helps with the coverage if you do that. I'm not really needing like full coverage or anything like that, so I'm okay with that. Go around my nose, again up onto this side. 
like to apply their concealer with their fingers you can do that I like to use a sponge personally because I feel like it just helps get the most even coverage I know the sponge can absorb a little bit of the product so it's not going to be as full coverage as if you use say your finger or even a brush so if that is something that you're interested in getting a little bit more full coverage out of your concealer try using a brush um, instead of a sponge when you're applying I just always like the finish of a sponge a little bit better. To kind of even out the skin tone even more and add a little bit of extra hydration and SPF, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my tinted moisturizer. This is NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 30, and I'm in the shade Terra Neuve, which is light zero, so again, the lightest shade. And I just do a little tiny, tiny bit of that. Nothing crazy. I'm gonna add also just a little bit of this Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is in the lightest shade Fair One. It's just a kind of a liquid highlighter, but it's not a highlighter in the sense that it's like super blinding or anything like that. And I just kind of mix those two together on my finger and then just kind of bounce in there with the sponge and just go all over the face really lightly to impart a nice even finish on the skin. And again, this is such light coverage that you know, you can still see your skin's texture and freckles and moles and all that kind of stuff through. This is, this is what you would say is like the no makeup makeup. All right, so that's good. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit just so you can really see my skin's texture and all that. And it just has kind of a nice glow right here. I don't know if you guys just heard that, but my dog is in here sleeping and she just rolled over and just let out the biggest groan. Like it's so much work for her to turn over. Lazy bum. I'm going to go ahead and set underneath my eyes. I'm going to take just kind of a little fluffy brush here. I have very like creasy under eyes. I don't know if anyone else has this problem. They've just always kind of been that way. So then what I'm gonna do is go in with a little bit of liquid blush. This is by Rare Beauty, the Selena Gomez makeup line. This is in shade Bliss. I love this liquid blush. I've never really been huge on liquid blush, but I don't know, I just heard so many good things about this and then kind of just fell in love with it. I just put some on the back of my hand here. I'm gonna go in with this Duo Fiber Stippling Brush and just Stamp it in there, apply it to the apples of the cheeks, and then I always kind of move up to the temple in an upward motion. I find that that just helps your face just look super naturally kind of flushed while providing still a kind of lift to the face. A little bit more here on my hand. And again, just stipple it right into the brush and start applying it. The apples of the cheeks working upwards towards the temple. And then don't ever be worried if you accidentally apply a little bit too much liquid blush. You can always go over it with your sponge that you used. And I always apply the blush to the top of my nose. Maybe a little bit on the forehead here. Just feel like it looks like you got a little bit of sun. 
but maybe you didn't. Um, I have this Dior Backstage palette and it has, it's a quad, so it comes in a bunch of different colors. I'm gonna actually dip into uh, the pink shade here and I'm going to just tap that on top of the cheekbones here because I feel like it kind of enhances the color but then also adds just a little bit more of a glow kind of down the center of the nose as well. I'm gonna take a larger kind of fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into this Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder and just kind of get it all over the, the brush and going over all the high points really, but I don't mind putting this all over. <laughs> it doesn't bother me to be a little bit glowy. And we'll go in with a little bit of a pressed powder in just a second. Then we need to do an eyebrow. I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera just cause you've seen me do that a million times and I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a little bit of pressed powder just in some areas that are you know, tend to be shiny for me. Again, I'm just using the Charlotte Tilbury powder on this smaller fluffy brush. I tend to get shiny kind of right in this area here, the smile line area, and like right beside the nose. And then also kind of center of the chin and typically kind of center of the forehead. Another thing that I like to do for the summertime is without having to dive into eyeshadows and all that kind of stuff, sometimes I like to just do a fun colored eyeliner. What I normally do is take a very like thin brush like this. I just apply a little bit of water to whatever color it is that I'm wanting to do, which I think I'm going to do this kind of purpley pink shade. You just spray a little bit of water on it to get it activated and then just, you know, dip your brush in it. I don't want to like tilt it too much, but I'm just dipping into that paint, almost like you're watercoloring, essentially. And the cool thing about these water-based like cake liners as they like to call them if you if you mess up they're really easy to remove so like if you just make your wing too much and you didn't quite want it that way just take um, a little q-tip and then take care of it like that I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara and then I'll be right back. Put my mascara on. I also uh, did a little bit more uh, lip gloss today. I'm wearing the Laura Lee Los Angeles e-bug gloss and then I also did just a little bit of lip liner as well. My favorite is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Pillow Talk. I'll zoom in so you guys can see everything still this looks really natural thank you guys again for watching today i hope you enjoyed this video let me know down below if you decided to you know try it yourself or if there's some other tips or tricks that you have for summer makeup and yeah i guess i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye mm -hmm.